Hi, this is Thundee from BorderWork.com and welcome to our full review of PowerDirector 10. PowerDirector 10 um, has a new starting intro, so we'll show you that before we continue with our review of uh, PowerDirector 10. Um, once you start up PowerDirector 10, you do get the screen. I just took a screenshot here so I can show you. It shows you a full editor, an easy editor, and the slideshow creator. You can also uh, select your aspect ratio 16 by 9 by 4 by 3. So you can always set this up to um, give you a selection or you can just pick one and just never show this again. Um, <clears throat> and when you get into PowerDirector 10, it's very familiar with what you have in PowerDirector 9. Um, you do have, of course, your media room, you do have your effects room, you have your picture-in-picture, -picture, you have your particles, of course you do have your tile rooms, um, your transition rooms, your uh, audio mixing room as well as your voice of recording. A couple of new things to note when you go to your uh, tile room here, take you in here, you do have uh, your tiles are now separated into different segments. You'd have your power director uh, um, tiles which they give you, so some of these tiles that are uh, come with some effects which you can select. You also have 3D light tiles, so you can actually pick a tile, for instance, like this one, which has 3D effects. And um, I can just show you quickly if I drop it down to this video I'm editing here. And right click, hit edit. Show you the tile here. You can see it has 3D effects, and you can also um, change the effects auto detect 3D, red red and cyanin, 3D ready uh, HTV and so on and so forth. So you do have uh, different options there for setting up your uh, your your tile if you will. Um, also if you go into the uh, effects room uh, your effects you can actually uh, go through the effects either as all or you can go through uh, different effects uh, through different sections so they well spaced out for you and um, allows you to basically look for effects that you're trying to get and that cool thing you find with PowerDirector um, 10 is it's the lining system you can see as I move uh, the tile at the bottom it actually lines up proper to each uh, video clip so I don't necessarily have to gauge it it'll automatically do that for you I can move this one here and you can see the line up there so it does a very good job in lighting effects for you this is a video for the uh, the Amaze 4G versus the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 as we are editing it editing it here for you um, uh, the, there's not much that is uh, different from 9 except I would say it runs much smoother it does a better job at um, um, in editing, editing is also much faster, it takes advantage of your GPU if you have an NVIDIA or um, ATI card, you can see you have ATI effects here which indicates having an uh, ATI chip, you also see your effects room also has been changed um, you can also go to the produce segments here and I'll show you a couple of things well, I'm not actually produce this video because I'm still editing it, but you can um, see a lot of things here. Um, it's got the intelligent SVRT, um, and again, if you do have a ATI, uh, a newer ATI or um, or NVIDIA graphics card, uh, the, the fastest mode of uh, editing videos through MPEG, uh, MPEG4, you can see it does video hardware encoding, which does a good job in speeding up the uh, record process. You can see my funny face over there. You can also record in 3D, and uh, it says there's no 3D content in this timeline to generate, and you hit OK, and uh, so on and so forth. So it's, it's very uh, simple. I'll go back into editing here just uh, to take away from my goofy face as I see that. Um, if you go into uh, the settings on the top right hand corner, just to show you some of the things, you enable uh, HD video processing in general, um, you can also uh, add more things to the auto scene detection, uh, confirmation prompts, director zone to sign in you know, to get some more um, uh, content from there. Uh, you, there's also just there's just more options, and also if you go to hardware acceleration, you see enable OpenCL technology speed up, uh, which is something and some of the things were in PowerDirector 9, but I would just tell you it runs much smoother. The slowness is just my system. I'm actually doing too many things at once here, and you can do SRV SVRT encoding on H.264. You also see uh, some of the new things like the uh, reduced video blocky artifacts in Intel SS64 optimize our processors. So there's a lot here that PowerDirect has done to optimize the system to make sure that it works better, faster, and it's more efficient. Um, overall, um, it feels it still feels like PowerDirect 9, 
but it feels like Power 9 improved a lot of uh, good uh, features added to it that just make it much smoother. And um, once, for instance, once you open up um, your Power Director, you, um, for instance, when you start it up the first time, you do have uh, two slots here for video. Um, you also, if you actually, um, <clears throat> your effects are easier to access. Um, just right clicking, you can actually go through most of that, which I'm sure you you still can do in our practice or Direct 9, but it's just something that's more efficient than fluid. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any comments about Product Direct uh, 10, and you know, um, just want to know about differences and you know if you should get it, I think you should um, over Direct 9 just because it's a smoother, more effective system. Uh, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to our pages on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. It's all Border Worker 2.0. So this is Thunder saying thank you and uh, enjoy entertainment.